Johnny, congratulations. It was an incredible game to watch. What was it like to play in? Yeah, not incredible. Um, <laughs> listen, I don't think any of us played our best. You know, John, definitely not. He's ten times the player that what he played today. And, you know, I'm just glad I'd done my job and I got over the line. When he takes the setback, you're obviously two up and cruising, back to one. Is it panic stations a little bit? Yeah, obviously, because at 2 0 up, I thought, you know, John's just not turned up at all. But all of a sudden, he's got a setback, and I'm thinking, do not let him play, do not let John play, because we all know what good Hendo is. And hey, listen, I had the job done, that's all that counts. I've never seen you so emotional. We had ferret celebrations up there. Is that something you've added to the armory? <laughs> No, probably not. It was just heat of the moment and no, listen, I'm just chuffed to beat John. He's the nicest guy you'll ever meet. One hell of a dark player and I'm glad I've done that job. This time last year when you lost to Stephen Bunning, you said it was one of the lowest moments of your career just because the way you didn't perform. Did you need that first game back on that stage to get that result out of your system? Yeah, definitely. Do you know what I mean? It's, um, hey, listen, every game's a confident boosted you know and you know I've had my first game so let's see what happens from now hopefully I relax a bit more speaking of next games obviously Christmas break are you staying in the bubble or are you going home I've not made my mind up to be honest um, probably it's a wise move to stay because you know we've all been tested we're all clear and um, at the end of the day it might be a, the wise thing to stay I don't know yet I'm guessing if you did stay, it would be one of the hardest decisions to make, spending Christmas away from your family. Oh yeah, definitely. It, it, it'll, it'll break me, basically. But, um, you know, if that's what I've got to do, that's what I've got to do. You know, it's, it's a massive, it's the biggest tournament that we all play in. And, listen, I'm here to do a job. When are you going to make that decision, by? obviously? Well, I think about midday tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> before I get kicked out of my room but no listen it'll be early tomorrow morning Johnny congratulations and we wish you all the very best in the next one mate. thanks very much thank you very much Johnny you touched on the celebrations there is that just proof of, of how much this means and the world championship means to everybody oh yes definitely you know it's like I say it's the biggest tournament um, nobody wants to lose in whichever tournament you play in but this is massive and this is where the big money comes in and we all want to do well. I want to lift that trophy on January the 1st. Don't end off. We all know you're obviously in and out the, the top 16. You're right on the edge of that. How much would a, a long run in and a long run in this tournament do for that sort of position? I'd be brilliant because I'm sick of battling with Joe Cullen. <laughs> but no, to be honest, um, yeah, listen, I'd love to get right up there, obviously. You know, it's, uh, it'd mean a lot. Do you think this is the best form that Johnny Clayton's been in going to a World Championship for a long time anyway? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. I think my confidence is high. I know I can play. You know, I've had a good run since the European Championships, so hopefully I'll pull my finger out. All right, brilliant. Cheers, Johnny. Cheers, mate.